<coughs> Shalom. Shalom. All praises and all the glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Ragagadash. Shalom, the Bukarium, Shor, Yasharala, the Boanas, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, my teachers, <clears throat> whom I learned from through the spirit of Yah, Bashim, Yahushai, and who rule well. Shalom to you other elders, and you brothers, the Akim and the Aqua, that are serious and sincere in these last days. Now I wanted to touch on the spirit of Yahab by Shem Shai. You know, the secret hidden counsel, okay, that's been revealed through the prophets from the time of Adam and up to the time of our Lord Yahweh Shai when he, you know, ascended into the heavens in that great cloud, the chariot, and he sent his Holy Spirit, the Comforter, you know, to guide us in these last days. And that Holy Spirit is there today as well. But it's only given to that secret council, the elect. And Yahweh Razazah, we hope and we pray, humbly speaking, that we are part of that. And we pray for mercy daily. So you brothers that, you know, that claim to take and put your hand on this plow, this work, these things of ours that you partake into this testimony of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. You know, you have to hope, Yahweh desire that you are part of the secret council. And only the secret council can be revealed these secrets. Esau, he has a dark secret council on the left hand side. He has a wicked secret council. The scripture talks about how they plan you know, wickedness and dark. But our secret counsel reveals the comfort and the spirit of truth. Our secret counsel is uh, based on the light of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay? The light of this world, this truth that we got. And I want to go into some scriptures to show that these secrets, these mysteries, this understanding is only going to be given to the elect. Now you're going to have brothers, you know, people that are claimed to be in this truth, you know, and they're not going to have a, the full understanding of this testimony. You know, for example, you have brothers that came into this truth and um, now they went back into the world. Now, they were invited into this truth. But I give you an a analogy when you go to a party or go to a club, you know, anybody can be invited and go into the party. But if they start behaving and acting reckless, you know, they're getting all drunk and, and, and rowdy. What happens? The bouncers, they come and they grab his little ass up and throw him right out the uh, club. Well, that's just the same way of this truth, man. A lot of you men and women have been invited. But you haven't kept this truth. You don't understand it fully. Somewhere down the line, you know, the doubt demons and the disbelief and the incredulity have overwhelmed you in these last days. You didn't take correction right. You didn't take order. You got offended, you know. In some way, somehow, you got weary and you let the flesh overcome your spirit. You know, you let the cares of this world come to you. And you fell off. And it's bad because it's going to get worse for those people, for those men. So again, it goes back to that secret council. Those elect men from the beginning that were created to be the first fruits and those spirits to overcome the world. And moreover, the last days to overcome the image, the number and the mark of this beast, you know. Those men are going to overcome. They're going to be revealed the mysteries and dark sayings of this book. They're going to understand fully the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the scriptures, man. And I just wanted to touch on some scriptures to get, to prove that. 
<clears throat> this is Wisdom of Solomon, <clears throat> chapter 8. I'm going to start at verse 1. Wisdom reacheth from one end to another mightily, and sweetly do she order all things. And that's a heavy scripture, because the wisdom of this spirit, the spirit of truth, okay, that's been given to only the elect in these last days, is going to order all things. We're going to be in order. The moment we're, we receive correction, we stand right in line and take it, and take the corrections from Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. If it's through leaders and men and the brotherhood that's among us, okay? But wisdom reacheth from one end to another mightily. Mightily. That word mightily. Okay? I'm going to jump down to verse 8. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old, and conjectureth aright what is to come. She knoweth the subtilities of speeches, and can expound dark sentences. She foreseeth signs and wonders in the events of seasons and times. And this has come with the spirit of discernment, man. You know, the elect is going to get that special discernment from the from this heavens. Like, for example, today in the morning, coming to work, you know, it was cloudy day, very foggy. And you can't barely see nothing. But there was a bright cloud right above my building that I always come to work at. Same way those chariots that be following me. Only the spirit of discernment can actually discern that. But you can have a regular Jake that is simple. They just want to, they'll just see that like, man, this dude bugging. But see, that's the spirit, man. You know? That's just the spirit. You know? And the elect is going to get this. Now let's go to Book of Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord, Yahweh, the Most High, will do nothing, but he revealed his secret Unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? And what is those secrets? Let's get let's look at this word up secret. Okay. <clears throat> this is the word secret. Strong's H fifty four seventy five. Sold. Sold. All right. And the definitions you have is council. Assembly. Counsel, familiar conversation. Scripture talks about a holy conversation. Divine, circle, familiar friends. Wow. Ain't that powerful? See, the elect, the elect were created. That was that first council where Yahweh shy in the beginning, man. That's how deep this is. And the elect is a precious group of men. All right? They knew one another. The elect has always knew one another. That's why it says here a circle of familiar friends, man. See, the secret, the counsel, man, this mystery that's been revealed to us in these latter days that the world cannot understand, all right? We've been given that gift, Yahweh Ratzazah. We are those familiar friends. The elect are friends. They were created to be friends, the brotherhood from the beginning, man. Assembly, company, council, secret council, you see? Familiar converse intimacy with the Most High Yahweh Bashim You see? Now I'm just curious to look at the root word. Establish, lay foundation to found, establish, begin. To fix or seat themselves close together, sit in conclave to be founded, to establish, ordain, or see? The elect was ordained from the beginning to get this truth, to understand the secret, man. The secrets of the Bible that everybody doesn't have. Alright? And that that's powerful. Amos 3 and Shelly, surely the Lord, Yahweh, the most high would do nothing, but he revealeth. His secret to the elect only, or to his servants, the prophets. All right? And that's powerful, man, in itself. Now let's get the uh, 
Salakia. Let me get first Samuel. <clears throat> nine and nine. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High Yahweh, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. You know? And the seer goes back to being a visionary. You have the vision is truth. You have to see this clear, this story that's been given to us, you know, you know, and to a lot of people, you know, it's, 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 they can't see it, but the, but the elect are going to see it very clear because they're visionaries. They are seers in spirit. Okay. Seer, prophet, prophetic vision. You see vision. So our vision you know, it's more clearer as we learn more. The Lord has given us what? The eye salve, right? The eye salve that's spoken about in Revelation. And now we're able to see, man. So this secret council belongs to who? The seers, the prophets in these last days. Who are the prophets in, in these last days? Okay, those men, the elect, that are going to actually um, re get revealed. Now, when you go into the concordance here, all right, um, uh, the word seer is the Hebrew 7200, ra, a primitive root, literally or figuratively in numerous applications, direct, implied, transitively, all right, advise, self, appear, approve, behold, certainly, consider, Discern. You see this? The word discern. See, this, the word seer goes back to see, but it also goes back to that word discern. So the spirit of discernment is going to be given to the elect in the latter days. They're going to receive the secret counsel that's been advised from above. They're going to be able to discern from good and evil. They're going to be able to discern from truth and falsehood. They're going to be able to discern, you know, if you're an Israelite. How do you know sometimes when certain men and women, you know, approaches out there in the highways and byways? You test the spirits. And the Lord actually gives the his prophets, man, these last days, that spirit of discernment in order to discern, which is a secret. Remember, it's a secret, and it's only given to the prophets in the latter days. That's why everybody can't get it. They can't understand, you know, especially these uh, all black 12 tribes believers. They're totally lost, man. They have lost the target. They're in a the dark, they're in a dark place, man, because this is all go back to the spirit, man. Oh, look at this experience. All right. The secret council, the elect, they've been here. They've been reincarnated from one generation to another. So they have that experience. That spirit is an ancient spirit. Okay? So the experience comes with it. This is how we were able to tap in to this truth in the last days. You know? We always give the example of, um, you know, how we live a dark life before we was introduced to this truth. And somehow, when we first heard this, this, this truth about being an Israelite, you know, we, we actually, something in us, the spirit is just, a light bulb came up. And we were able to, what, tap in to, to this truth. Because you've been here before, you experienced this truth it goes back to your lot, you know, whoever you was in the, in the, in the ancient world and you, you know, were preaching and prophesying, well, that spirit is going to come back. It's going to activate, okay, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man, okay? Now, when we go into that word, right, let's go into that word. I looked it up. Uh, let me see something. What did I go to get this? Oh, the word vitans. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what it was. Uh, 
So we went to um, the word here. Oh, Salaki, I'm so sorry, brothers. Let's go to the etymology right here, seer. This is what it was. So when we go into this word seer, in uh, Bible etymology, it goes into the late 14th century, one to whom divine revelations are made. See? Divine revelation from the spirit world, from the heavens, can only be revealed to the elect, a prophet, a person who sees or foretells future events. Agent now, originally rendering Latin vitans. See this word vitans? That's the word I wanted to see. So when you go into that word vitans, right? It means seeing, looking at, observing, and understanding. See? The elect are going to actually understand. They're going to observe things. The elect is totally different from your ordinary man on the planet Earth. Okay? They're the original spirits. They're totally different, special uh, set of men that Yah Bashem Yahshah loves dearly, man. Okay? Now, when we go into the Greek word, bleptor, rendering Hebrew, roah, let's go into that word, bleptor. <clears throat> okay? goes back to the word blepo into the Bible lexicons. When you go into that, um, when you go into the definitions, it says to see, to discern of the bodily eye. See that? The bodily eye. The scripture talks about let your eye be single and it will be what? Full of light. You see? In the house of David, that secret council, those spirits, man, from the beginning, they're going to be able to discern with that single eye, man. See that? Oh, look at this. With bodily eye to be possessed of sight, have the power of seeing, man. See, the ordinary man can't see the things we see when we talk about so-called UFOs and the chariots and and how the Lord is going to come back with a great fathership and the Ark Mark, uh, the Ark uh, Micah Yala is going to come and destroy this place, man. And that we're going to be beamed up, Yahweh Rat to Zad, the elect in the air, okay, with our Lord, Yahweh Shah, when he returns, that the so-called white man is the devil, the Bible speaks of. See, these are all uh, 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 Things that the average man can't see. All right, but the elect can understand it. The house of David, those precious men, they can understand it. All right? Perceive by the use of the eyes to see, look, descri. What's that word, descri? Let's look up that word, descri. To, to look descri. As a verb, it means to spot, notice. To catch sight of see, make out, glimpse, sight, discern. See, it always goes back to discerning. Perceive, to observe, to detect, to distinguish, to pick out, to spy out, to recognize, identify. And so you get the message, man. Okay? Oh, it's a metaphor. To see with the mind's eye. That's the spirit, man. That is the spirit, okay? Now, when we go back to etymology, it says, the rendering Hebrew ra'ah in Bible translations, all right? Literal sense of one who sees or can see, a beholder, a witness, a watcher. See? See, the elect are going to be, going to be the true watchmen of the Lord. Ezekiel 3 talks about us being watchmen. But let's go into that Hebrew word ra'ah, okay? It's right here. We go to the lexicon, all right? Bible lexicon. It's the Hebrew word 7203. And it means seer, prophet, prophetic vision. See? All right? So now you get the message. So far, you understand that the seers and the prophets in these latter days are going to be given that. That, that secret counsel. They're going to understand the mysteries of this book, man. 
So that's why when you go back to this scripture, wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily, and sweetly do she order all things. And sweetly, sweetly, you think about that word sweetly, think about the word honey, right? The word honey, right? Honey is very sweet, right? Now, it's very parabolic when we read in the scriptures about honey, man. Let me see if I got it around here. Okay, Proverbs 25 and 16. Let's go to that real quick. All right. Let's go to the book of Proverbs 25 and 16. Okay, because we're connecting the dots through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. <clears throat> Proverbs 25 and 16 reads, Has thou found honey? Eat so much as is a sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. See, in these, in this truth, you know you have to, you have to, you know you got to get, you have to eat this truth according to your own measure. See, a lot of men out here they like to be deep. They want to hurry up and you know learn, you know about the scriptures and these secrets and these breakdowns, man. They have no patience. You know, every man has his own measure. You got to live according to your lot and what the Lord given you as a gift, you know. But, okay, like we went into the word at Wisdom, Wisdom of Solomon. I got it here too in the book. <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8. Chapter 8, verse 1. Wisdom reaching from one end to another mightily. And sweetly, see, the honey, this truth is compatible, is, 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 is symbolic to honey. And sweetly do she order all things. Has thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, you see? Don't be over-righteous. Don't overdo yourself. You know, you can't. The Lord is going to give you this understanding if you are sincere according to your own measure, man. All right? All right? So let's go to uh, what we got here. My, uh, uh, Daniel 2 and 22. It's the book of Daniel chapter 2 <clears throat> and verse 22. All right? This is the secret council, the elect, man. He revealeth the deep and secret things, okay? All right, now we understand that secret is that divine revelation through the Holy Spirit, all right? And it's only going to be revealed to the elect in the latter days, the days that we're living in. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. First, Yahweh Shai came as the light of the world. He said it, I am the light of the world. Okay? Scripture talks about that, what, um, this truth being like a lamp to our feet. And when you're walking, you know, you're no longer walking in darkness because this truth is guiding us. We're walking into a path of righteousness, being illuminated with this truth, man. You know what I mean? Let me see if I can find that light to our feet. I don't know. I'm taking a shot mm, to give to them to sit in darkness and the shadow of death to guide our feet into a way of peace. Oh, this is good too. Light and suffering our feet to be moved. Let's read that. Luke 179. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet in the way of peace. See? Yahweh Shai is the spirit of truth, the light of this world. In the last days, he has given that light, that path, you know, to the elect. They're going to be able to be guided, okay, in this place called uh, Psalms 23, the, the, the shadow valley of death. This is the dark, gross place. This is darkness. And guess what? It's not revealed to everyone. It's not revealed to everyone, brothers. It's only going to be revealed to the elect. This is why they can see in darkness, in the spiritual darkness, that we're living in, man. Okay. Now let's go to uh let's go to uh Sirach three. Let's go to the book of Sirach three. 
All right, bear with me. Have patience, man. Because this is important, Lord willing. You are edified through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yashah. And understand that it's only given to the secret council, which is the elect, man. Everybody's not going to get this thing, you know, only the elect. All right, Sirach 3 and uh, 19. Uh, and it reads, <clears throat> Many are in a high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Now, what does this mean? For example, you have men that are so-called scientists, maybe scholars of this world, and even like certain politicians or presidents that are being put on the high pedestal, okay? They're being renowned. The, the people of this world look up to them, you know what I'm saying? But the mysteries are revealed unto the meek. The meek are the Israelites. You see, they don't have this understanding. We have been given a treasure from heaven. We've been given a treasure from heaven, man. These are mysteries. These pages that you we turn every day, these books that you hear, okay, this is a, this is a mystery to those renowned so-called men, scholars of this world, all right? But to us, these mysteries have been revealed. We have the understanding, man. <clears throat> but mysteries are revealed unto the meat, okay? For the power of the Most High Yahweh is great, and he is honored of the lowly. Everybody look at us like, how, how the hell these so-called, this is how the so-called devil, the white man, these other nations, even our own people, they look at us and ridicule us. We being a spectacle, a gazing stock when they look like, they can't believe that. Like, that. how these Puerto Ricans and these so-called um, uh, 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 blacks people and these Native Americans have this understanding of this Bible? Uh, they, they're like boggled. I remember there was a time me and I, you know, when we was uh, out there in the highways and byways, maybe about two years ago, a year and a half, or maybe a year ago, and we had a woman out there. She was being rebellious, scoffing, and we was rebuking her. And she called us ex-convicts. She was like, y'all niggas don't, y'all look like some ex-convicts. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's all right. We look down at, okay? The, 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 hey, the scripture said, for the power of the Lord, Yahweh, what is that power? This secret, this divine revelation is great, and he is honor of the lowly. It's going to be given to the meek and the lowly. It's not going to give it to everybody. So, yeah, we can take all the uh, scoffing and the name callings, but it's all right. Let's go to Second Ezra 14. Let's go to the book of Second Ezra 14, and um, we're going to start at 1, okay? <clears throat> Second Ezra 14. Okay, and it came to pass upon the third day, I sat under an oak, and behold, there came a voice out of a bush over against me and said, Ezra, Ezra, <clears throat> and I said, here I am, I Lord, and I stood up upon my feet. Verse 3, Then say he unto me, In the bush I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moses and talk with him when my people served in Egypt. Okay, verse 4, And I sent him and led my people out of Egypt and brought him up to the mount of where I held him by me a long season. And we know the story, Moses was up there in the mountain for 40 days, man, supping with Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But what was he doing up there? Let's find out. Verse 5, And I told him many wondrous things and showed him the secrets of the times and the end and commanded him, saying, these words shalt thou declare, and these shalt thou hide. You see how powerful that is? See, our forefather Moses, Masha, he was part of the elect. He is part of the elect. He was chosen to be the secret part of the secret council. And the Lord revealed to him the secrets of the times, divine revelations. That only the elect are going to understand. And he was what? A prophet. And if you want to go back, he was a king. More, more likely the first king of Israel. 
you know? So this is a powerful thing that we have, brothers. This is nothing to play around with, you know? You have to hold this dearly. See, there's a lot of men, they fall back into the world. They've crept unaware. They come around for a while. They put a garment on, you know, and sooner or later, that, 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 they don't grasp the understanding because they haven't put their effort, they haven't gave a sacrifice to the Lord. So the flesh takes over and they fall out, man. This power, this truth of ours is powerful, brothers. We can't mishandle it. It is power. You know, you got to know how to control power. If you ever um, look at the movie X-Men, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, Dr. Xavier, Professor Xavier, he has the power of uh, the mind, okay? But he has to learn how to control that because it's too powerful. If If he's not able to control it, he actually can kill himself. And this and these and this truth is like that. It is spiritual divine revelation from the spirit world. You have to learn how to control it. You have to learn how to take care of this truth. It's very powerful. It's spiritual. It's not just opening the book and reading the Bible, man. That's why it takes much studiness. All right. All right. Let's go to uh Let's go to Jeremiah 6 and 16. <clears throat> Let me see what else I got. Uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Bear with me, brothers. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Thus said the Lord Yahweh. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we will not walk therein. Now you have a rebellious people, which are two thirds. They're not going to understand. They're going to rebel. They're not going to hearken to this truth, this testimony of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But the elect are going to walk into the old paths because it's, the elect understand that there is a reward. When we read these scriptures, we have faith. We believe the promises. We believe what's in this book. We're not just reading and just saying whatever. No, we actually believe it. We believe that it's a good way, like the scriptures say. And we're going to what? Get rewarded. The scripture said, and ye shall find rest for your souls. See? The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10, say that this place, Babylon, the great America, this is not our rest. It's polluted, man. And it will destroy you with a sore destruction. All right? Again, the elect can understand that. All right? But not everybody. No. Okay? Okay, let's go to uh, Sirach 27. I got a lot of scriptures there, but I'm not going to read all of them because I'm at Plantation. I got to get back to uh, this filthy-ass work. But let me read like two more maybe, and I'm going to end it. But you understand Sirach 27 and 9. Let's get that real quick. <clears throat> this is the book of Sirach 27 and verse 9. The birds will resort unto their like so will truth return unto them that practice in her. Okay? And that's that secret counsel, man. Okay? We're going to return unto this truth. And we're going to what? Practice her. What does that the word practice mean? Okay? Matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. Practice. Let's get the definition of practice. And then I know you brothers know. But I just want to go into it. You know what I mean? This is the word practice. And it means the actual application or use of an idea, belief, or method. In this case, this truth, this belief system that we believe in. Right? As opposed to theories relating to it. Okay? The principles and practice of teaching. See that? 
All right? So what are we supposed to do? Down here, it says perform or exercise repeatedly or regularly in order to improve. See? In order to improve or maintain one proficiency. You see? So we're supposed to practice this truth. Let's read it again. Sharat 27 and 9. The birds will resort until they light. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. So the elect are going to constantly exercise and practice and study this truth of ours that's been revealed from them, from the heavens, this divine revelation. They're going to continue to practice and practice to improve themselves in this walk. What happens when you don't practice? You get rusty. You know, you want to play basketball, baseball, whatever. You know, you don't practice, you get rusty. So if you don't practice this truth, you don't study, you know, you, you, you're you lazy, you're slothful. Well, guess what? Your spirit going to get rusty and your flesh is going to overcome you. And sooner or later, slowly you're going to be walking in darkness, man. Again, it goes back to the, to the party, man. You're invited. But if you start behaving, you're not doing the right thing. Hey, them bouncers is going to kick you out. Them angels, man. You know? The angels are part of the secret council as well. They're, they're messengers. They're holy servants for the Lord. And they have the Holy Spirit with them. You know, Scripture talks about in the book of Job in the middle of the night, in, a, in deep sleep. You know, the Lord uh, gives men instructions. Those are those angels. They work in, you know, in the spirit world. When we sleep in certain dreams we get, you know, some of them are bugged out. Some of them, they, they, they are, you know, messages based on this truth. Okay, let me get one more. Let me see what I got here. Okay, let me see. Let me, oh yeah, let's get Isaiah 10 and 1. That's a good one. We'll finish it with there. Isaiah 10 and 1. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1. Okay, not 1. I think it was 20. Let's get that. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, such as our escape of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote him, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. In truth, the remnant shall return. Okay. The remnant shall return even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power of Yahweh. Okay? For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. So only the house of David that are part of that remnant, the elect, are going to return back to the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And they're going to understand this truth. They're going to understand this divine revelation that's been given to us from above. Again, this is a secret council. That's why vocab, Malone, Mark Reiser, the devil, man, he can't understand it. He's fighting too for now to try to debunk this truth, but he can't. This truth, you can't, how, you, how the hell you're going to stop the Holy Spirit? You can't do that, man. You're fighting against the Most High, man. And you can't fight against the Most High. Yahweh, Yahweh, the Lord going to put that man to death, man. Okay? You cannot. This is a divine revelation going back to what? The secrets. Only for a secret council, this hidden mystery, the dark sayings, this truth, the understanding of this Bible, this story that's being told, man, that was written in the heavens before we was even thought of or the planet Earth was even created, all right, was given to what? The elect, the first fruit spirits. That were there with Yahweh Shai from the beginning. All right? This is why it's so important. This is a very important and serious thing that we're involved in. And you brothers, man, that 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 uh that have taken your life and have signed that vow with the Lord. You made a vow with the Lord. You made a vow with him, man. That is very serious. We fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We don't want to be uh, uh, put down by him by breaking that vow. 
And it hurts so much to know that certain men have done that. And now the Lord's going to have to deal with you. And this is in general as well. This is a message for you new brothers that are coming in. If you do run into my lesson, don't play around. This, this don't take your hand off the plow. You should know what you're getting involved in. See, these other groups, man, they don't push that vibration, that frequency of the fear of the Lord. Okay? When you fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshua and you know and understand the penalties that come from Yahweh Bashim Yahshua for breaking these va this vow, you will get you will get your act together, man. And these other groups, man, they don't do that. And a lot of men are coming in into this truth. There's a lot of young men. And they don't know what they're involved in. So if you run into my lesson, Yahweh Zah, you can get edified. You can understand that this is only given to a secret council. And if you want to be part of that, you have to pray and ask for the Lord for mercy. Yahweh Zah, Yahweh Zah, that you can be part of this council, man. And take it serious. Don't play with this truth, man. Especially in the time we're living in right now, man. We're living in some very serious times. Prophetic, prophetically, man, I mean, overwhelming, overwhelmingly prophetically, all right? Man, so, man, listen, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, brothers, you know, and I hope this was edifying to the spirit of the Lord, to the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, Okay? We want to give all praises and all the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasharala, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Nathala, Yaha, Kasayam, Shah, Dabada, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Hallowah, Yah, Hallowah, Yah, Hallowah, Yah. Shalom, brothers. Amen.